It started in 2008, again, the, the new sprout of, of rust, and mainly due uh, because of climate change, for one reason. Uh, we have had uh, temperature increases for the last 20 years. The lowest temperatures were 11, 12 degrees centigrade. <coughs> now, if we get 15 at the middle of the night, that's a lot. No? So there you can see those two great centigrades that are making a huge change. No? And I'm sure that has a lot to do with this fungal situation and the rust leaf and, and many other diseases that we didn't have before. No? Most of the organic producers, they have this ideal climate for rust. No? They have more shades, they have different types of uh, uh, plants growing on their fields. And so the rust feels like a home, you know? a lot of humidity, the right temperature. And so the, the, the rust is staying there and, and, and just waiting to sprout again. When it only takes the rust 25 days to, to create a new generation of, of spores. And, and that flies away with the wind the workers that are with us, or we ourselves, sometimes we carry it without knowing it and take it to the next plant. And on the other hand, we have a new, new sprout of rust, which is more aggressive. And in the case of us, it came in in 2012 and it practically ruined our entire plantation. We lost 50% of the production just that year. The following year, we lost 70% of the production. Now, through a lot of treatments and with uh, a large investment of, of pesticides and fungicides uh, primarily, we have been able to control it. It's not gone yet, uh, but uh, little by little, we are uh, recuperating the plantation. But for that, we've, we needed to invest a lot of money and obviously, the cost of production went three times higher as it used to be. You know? Some countries, they have gotten big help from governments. They declared a state of emergency because of the leaf rust. And most of the Central American countries, unfortunately, Mexico does not want to see the situation as real as it is. We have been getting uh, uh, calls from our neighbors from Oaxaca and Veracruz, which is north of, of where we are, and desperate people trying to see what we have done in order to control rust. The only thing that can be done for the small producer, they don't have the, the enough resources to, to compel the, the, the rust. No? So those are the ones that are mainly migrating to rust-resistant plants. But for that, they need to wait first the, which line of rust-resistant plant is the most viable for their area. You know? So it's not just a matter of getting a seed and, and planting it. It, it, it. There is a lot more behind it. It will take them four or five years to renew their plantations if they have the money to do it. You know? So it is really something serious that I think the, the, the world should look into it and, and, and look at it as a, a general problem, not a Guatemalan or a Mexican or Salvadoran problem. It's, it's really stressing out. We know that years back in the 80s, there was other rust sprout. It was not as heavy as it is today.